AIDS. Over 40 million people in the world are suffering from AIDS, and it is increasing in leaps and bounds. Though it is a high-risk disease, it can be prevented if greater awareness is meted out. Acquired Immunodeficiency Syndrome, AIDS, is a disease of the human immune system which is a part of the circulatory system. A closer look inside an artery shows numerous RBCs and some human immunodeficiency virus, HIV. HIV has a spherical envelope with several glycoprotein projections, which help in the process of binding. It shows the presence of a protein lipid bilayer, cytoplasm, and a core. The core consists of RNA strands and enzymes. This virus is the causative agent for acquired immunodeficiency syndrome, or AIDS. While this HIV moves in the bloodstream, it comes in contact with the T helper, TH cells. A closer look at a T helper cell reveals that its surface has numerous glycoprotein receptors. These glycoprotein receptors are of two types, the CD4 receptor and the co-receptor or secondary receptor known as CCR5 receptor. These CD4 receptors attach themselves to the flexible HIV surface proteins and fit them on the co-receptor. This binding leads to the fusion of the virus with the membrane and the virus infects the Th cell. This infection causes the Th cell to become diseased. Inside this Th cell, the virus replicates itself and they are eventually released. Viruses mature and become capable of infecting other Th cells. This diseased Th cell finally disintegrates. Thus, due to the destruction of Th cells, which forms a vital part of the immune system, the immunity is severely compromised. Recent medical advances have developed certain fusion inhibitors which are helpful in restricting the virus from spreading. These inhibitors attach themselves onto the surface proteins of the HIV and cause a conformational change and a loss of flexibility. Due to this, the CD4 receptors fail to align these surface proteins. As a result, the virus is unable to enter the Th cell. Thus, the virus is rendered helpless, thereby arresting further damage caused by the HIV. AIDS is a silent killer, so we need to be aware of its causes and modes of transmission. Causes The AIDS virus is transmitted through infected blood transfusion. Pregnant mothers if HIV positive or liable to transmit the virus to the fetus. Another important mode of transmission is through unprotected sexual contact. Symptoms. People with AIDS often have systemic symptoms like fever. They have swollen lymph glands due to weakened immunity. They also may show AIDS dementia complex, where nerve damage causes diminished mental functioning. Detection. So, the best way to restrict the spread of AIDS is to be aware and get regular blood tests done as medications cannot cure AIDS, but can only prevent it from progressing.